for the monthly update. We, we decided to call this the garden because that's what it feels like. You got the waterfall down there and all this beautiful greenery, the mountain laurel, rhododendron, all those types of things. So great spot, but anyway, so we're back at the garden. Uh, after Labor Day weekend and, and the opening of college football, which is always exciting and fantastic, a uh, lot of interesting things, Georgia. Uh, wow, it certainly looks like they're on the road to the Final Four again, the way they whipped up on Oregon. Um, so that was impressive for sure. That was the most impressive thing I think I saw this past weekend, and uh, we'll see where everything else falls out. But go Tigers, uh, they got their first win. And like Coach Sweeney said, when we win our first game, the last six times we've done that, we went to the Final Four. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that will reoccur. Um, a couple things. One, what blows my mind is, you know, I see some listings come on the market and they're only in the Greenville MLS. But yet our area out here at Lake Kiwi is Western Upstate MLS. And I cannot understand why would anybody list with an agent that is only in the Greenville MLS? Because majority of the agents or companies up here are not necessarily in the Greenville MLS. So if they're searching properties for buyers, they're not going to find it. Now, we are in both, Greenville and Upstate, so we can see both. But it again, you're talking about putting your arm behind your back or tying your arm behind your back, and, you know, or one leg hopping. That's kind of what you're doing if you're putting yourself in that situation. So when you're going to list property, I mean, we have that opportunity to put it in Greenville MLS. We're putting in Upstate MLS. We're going to have, you know, 45 to 50 pictures. We're going to do drone videos. We're going to do 360 videos, walkthrough videos. We, we do all of those things. And I don't see anyone that does everything that we do. So keep that in mind when you're looking to list. And again, that's why we've been doing this for 33 years and we've been very successful at it. So um, just things to think about. As we do, let's go over the numbers. Right now, Waterfront Homes available. That number is up to 53. Um, 23 of those are in the golf communities. 30 are outside of the golf communities. Uh, right now, there are only three houses or properties under 1.2 million. Uh, there are 20 pending right now. Uh, six in the golf communities, 14 outside of the golf communities. And so far this year, 133 homes have sold, uh, 45 in the golf communities, and 88 outside. Interesting, I ran this number. The average um, cost for a home uh, in the golf communities was three or $2,372,000 and change. Outside of the golf communities, $1,494,000, uh, so almost $1.5 if you put the two together, then that comes out to 1,791,000 and change. And uh, in 2021, 149 homes sold and the average price was 1,333,000 and change. So we've seen in the last year 25.6% increase in prices. So is the market still good? Yes. Is the market slower? Yes. But the market's only slower because the prices are higher. So there are fewer people that can afford a $1.5 million house. But, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, if you see something that comes on the market under $1.5 million, it's going under contract fairly quick. And we're still seeing multiple offers. So that's, that's the case. Um, land, right now, only 81 lots available. 31 of those are in the golf communities, 50 outside of the golf communities. And when you start really looking at dockable lots, um, you're talking about out of the 80, you, you know, to get a covered dock, you're only talking about maybe 25. And that's combined in the golf and outside of the golf communities. Um, right now, there are 17 under contract, seven of those in the golf communities, 10 of them outside, uh, 107 have sold this year. Uh, the average sales price, 436356 Now that's for golf and non-golf. If you just went golf communities, 35 have sold. Average price, 671000 Outside of the golf community, 72 at 322000 um, Compared to 2021. In 2021, 238 properties sold. Average sales price was 329,210. So the average lot price, if you again include everything, has gone up 24.6%. So again, that that's the case. I mean, there's there's limited inventory, as I said, on lots because you're only talking about about 25 properties out there. But again, folks, you got to remember 
there's not like these big tracks of land on Lake Kiwi they're going to be coming onto the market in the future. It's not like it was back in 2007 and 8 when the market was extremely good and then we went through this down period prices came way down for quite a while but yet Duke still had all this inventory that they were going to be bringing onto the market. So supply and demand if there was you know another let's just say thousand lots available or were going to be available how could the prices go up when there's all this inventory? I mean we constantly have had roughly 350 to 400 waterfront properties out there and that's not going to be the case. Not today and I don't ever believe it will be the case in the future. It'll be more like a Lake Norman, a Lake Lanier, a Lake Burton where they just don't have the inventory. They've capped out and that's finally where Lake Kiwi has gotten to. So if you don't think it's a good idea to buy, I think you're wrong because even though prices are up, I think they're only going to go higher uh, because of lack of inventory. It's just supply and demand. It's a simple thing. So anyway, call us if we can help you out. Again, we're the best in the business at selling lots on this, on this lake. We can help you find the best deals out there. And uh, if you want to get it sold, 33 years of experience, I don't know why you would turn anywhere else. Look forward to seeing you again next month.